Good morning, friends. Today I'm going to be talking about finding your rhythm. What is rhythm versus a schedule? And then some of our favorite uh, little tools to help us stay in the flow, stay with our rhythm as homeschoolers. So I presently have a four and a five year old, almost six year old. They're 17 months apart. And the first two years was chaos. It was insane. I could not get a schedule, really. I couldn't get a rhythm, really. And after hearing about this um, idea of a rhythm versus a schedule, we've definitely gone the rhythm route. So a schedule connotates, usually for most people, you know, something more stringent. It's in the book, nine o'clock breakfast, 10 o'clock soccer, you're packing things in. Whereas a rhythm, <clears throat> my favorite part is this idea of an inhale, something exciting, something activating, and an exhale where you can just release and chill. What I've loved is purposely putting into our day free play, um, outside play, um, just sitting by the fire. <laughs> These very simple things. And um, just seeing our day as not needing to adhere to a strict schedule uh, with time limits and fitting in all the little boxes, but there's a flow. There's a space to move, but there's also a predictability to that flow because of course the kids need it. I'm going to operate better with it. The whole family is going to operate with um, still an element of predictability and structure, but not the kind of structure that uh, confines you and drives you crazy. I just can't do that. I did that too much working in corporate jobs. Anyway, so this is our rhythm. This, I, I wish I was that mom that did it by hand. I didn't, you easily could. This is just off Etsy. And there's so many different, if you put in, you know, Waldorf rhythms, there's so many great ideas on there. Of course you could Pinterest it as well. But I think number one is sitting down, taking some time, mama, you are the nervous system of your family. Ooh, that was big when I realized that I am the nervous system and I get to choose how our life flows and goes. So what do you want in a day? <clears throat> what I love about this whole rhythm, rhythm thing is also what do you want in a month? What do you want in a year? So just realizing how cyclical and rhythmic we are as women. Thank you, Lord, for our moon cycle every 21 days or 28 days. I can't keep it straight. How often does our period come? I don't know, with the full moon. So just we're innately rhythmic. We're innately in this kind of a flow when we tune back into um, our basic biology. So I'll start with our daily rhythm. Rise and quiet play. And that's really important. The kids are often up before me. I set out some breakfast for them. I want the day to start. I want the nervous system to start relaxed, help yourself to some water, eat your banana. Usually we put a fire on, slow moving breakfast. I need my decaf coffee before I'm gonna fry eggs or basically make second breakfast. I have hobbits. <laughs> then there's some sort of, um, that says daily play, but usually that's when we do some homeschool reading um, by the fireplace or a little bit of a math activity. Um, outdoor play. The afternoons are really hard for us because usually we're out of the house and we live kind of not in the middle of nowhere, but we live a drive um, from the city. So the predictable element there would be that we're out for the day. I have the thermos lunches um, and I'll have snacks with us. So lunch is usually on the road um, or out at a park or wherever we are that day. <clears throat> Come back home and again, just having that exhale after we've been out for a good chunk of the day the kids can just free play we might do a little bit of tidying up uh story time before bed i'd say finding a big anchor sorry i skipped dinner but a big anchor in your day so our massive anchor would be family dinner and you can have multiple anchors in the day right but family dinner we're all together sitting at the table um, we're praying together, we're having that meal. So it's a really nice exhale, all of us together. Even if the time for dinner changes, right? Some days it's gonna be four o'clock, <clears throat> some days it's gonna be five. If my husband's really late, it might even be six. So we do have flow, that's just what works for us. But 
the kids know uh, dinner with dad happens. And um, one of our favorite things is having our highs and lows. So the kids will go around the table and ask, what was your high? What was your low of the day? So just these sweet little things that we all look forward to, um, even though it's not on a stringent time, then, you know, story time, toothbrush, good night, go to bed. So one of our favorite things are these little guys to help us understand the week because not every day of the week is the same. So this is a Waldorf based thing. Uh, these little gnomes all have their own color. This is Monday, it's purple day. We know Monday we meet with the whole homeschool co-op. Um, <clears throat> Tuesday is a very active day for us. Tuesday's missing, he's red. But the boys know um, Tuesday, Samson goes to like a kindergarten school co-op thing with an actual teacher and an actual class. So that's our busy day. Some of that nice relaxed morning does get sacrificed, but we already know that's the Tuesday kind of vibe. Um, mm -hmm. So using this, the kids, um, at this young age might not understand Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, the names, but they get the color and they already have this association of the rhythm of the week. <clears throat> also, just doing the whole rhythm of the year has been so much fun. How beautiful is this perpetual calendar? Um, but I took some time a few months ago to sit down and just talk with my husband and brainstorm what kind of a year do we want our years to look like um and big anchors in the year would be holidays right are you a big christmas family we do advent we do a very germanic advent lead up we didn't grow up doing lent um you know like previous to easter but we started this year we decided yes let's do a 40-day countdown to easter and pull in this kind of mindfulness that that'll be an anchor again with waldorf there's so many beautiful different little festivals um, that can be celebrated and they're just seen as these grounding points that are predictable year over year, month over month, and then, yeah, however you're going to flow your daily rhythm. So definitely write it out, put it on the wall, take some time to meditate as the mama. You're running this ship. You got this. Oh, here's the best part. It can change. It can change. I think sometimes we block ourselves in to thinking, especially if it's a schedule, this, 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 ha, it's okay. It can change. We can flow. So um, just remembering to keep yourself open to the different seasons as they come. Of course, like as the children grow and then you need something different, you know, when you have to drop the nap, how bad does that suck when they're one or two or three and all of a sudden the nap is gone and everything changes again? Um, but yeah, anyways, those are some of our favorite little tools for getting us in a rhythm and it has been life-changing opposed to trying to strive for a schedule. So I wish you all the best and, um, yeah, take care.